All right, so we're going to go ahead and start our J12 lecture, which is all about multiplying polynomials. J12 and J13 are very closely related. So if you are um, self-pacing yourself through homework, you might go ahead and group those two together um, because they're very, very similar, okay? Multiplying polynomials just means we're going to multiply every term of the first polynomial by every term of the second polynomial, okay? Whether you're distributing one term, whether you're distributing many, many terms, um, as long as every term of the first one gets multiplied by every term of the second one, we should end up with the right answer, okay? So let's go ahead and look at a few. Here we're distributing a monomial, meaning one term, to a binomial, which is two terms. So we're just going to take that monomial and distribute it to each term in the second one. Okay. Now remember, when you multiply these terms, you're just multiplying numbers and multiplying um, our variables. And when we multiply variables, we combine the exponents. Right. So that means when we do negative 2x squared times 5x squared, we're going to get negative 10x to the fourth because we're adding those two exponents, right? When we multiply our x's together by our exponent rules that we went over a couple sections ago, right? All right, and then we do negative 2x squared times negative 3. Negative times negative is going to make that a positive 6x squared. And because these are not like terms, we have an x to the fourth and an x squared, we can't combine them. So this is as far as we can go on this one, okay? All right, on the next one, instead of having one term times two terms, we have two terms times two terms. So a binomial times a binomial. You may have learned the FOIL method. That's totally fine. Um, or you can simply distribute each term of the first times each term of the second. So I'm going to start with 2x. 2x times 3x is going to give me 6x squared, right? And then 2x times 4 is going to give me a positive 8x. And then I need to distribute the second term. So all of that just came from this first term, right? So now I want to look at the second term. Negative 5 times 3x is going to give me a negative 15x. And instead of writing it all out in one line, since I know 15 and 8 are going to be like terms, I'm just going to line them up because it makes it a little bit easier to combine them later, okay? And then we need to do our negative 5 times our 4. So negative 5 times positive 4 gives me a negative 20. And now that I have it all multiplied out, now I'm just combining like terms. So I have my 6x squared. When I combine my 8x and my negative 15x, I get negative 7x and then my negative 20. So we're just going to leave that like that. And let's look at one more. I wanted to show you one that has multiple letters in it. Um, the same rules apply. Um, but when you have multiple letters, you might end up with terms that have multiple letters in those terms. And usually we write them in alphabetical order, okay? So let's look at this one. We're going to go ahead and take this 5C and distribute it to each of the terms in the second polynomial, okay? So 5C times 4C gives me 20C squared, right? And then I want to distribute 5C times negative 9D. So 5 times negative 9 is negative 45. And then C times D, well, is just CD, right? And I'm going to put them in alphabetical order. It doesn't really matter if I write this as 45CD or 45DC. But a lot of times we'll write them in alphabetical order. Okay, So that's what I'm going to stick with. And now we need to distribute this negative D. So negative D times 4C is going to be negative 4. And then again, we're going to have a D and a C. I'm going to write it in alphabetical order. So C, D, which makes it a like term um, with the last term that I wrote, right? And then negative D times negative 9D is going to be a positive 9D squared, okay? And then we just draw our line and combine um, our like terms. So we have our 20C squared. When I combine negative 45 and negative 4, I get negative 49 CD and my plus 9D squared. Okay. All right. So hopefully not too bad. There's two for you to try at the bottom. Just kidding. There's three for you to try at the bottom of the page. Once you've done those and you're ready to check yourself, go ahead and play the video and we'll go over them. 
All right, so let's go ahead and go over them. On number one, when you distribute your m over to the second polynomial, you should get m squared plus 5m. When you distribute the negative 3 to the um, terms in the second polynomial, you should get negative 3m minus 15. You combine your two m terms, and you should end up with m squared plus 2m minus 15, okay? If you need to look at that a little bit more closely, always remember you can always pause the video if I'm going over them too fast, <laughs> okay? Number two is just a monomial times a monomial. So there's nothing really to distribute. We're just multiplying terms, okay? Just like we did when we did our um, exponent rules. So we multiply the number parts with the number parts. So we're going to multiply the 3 and the negative 8 to get negative 24. And then we just multiply the x parts together. So x squared times x to the fifth gives me x to the seventh, okay? And then on our third one, again, we're distributing. So we take our 11x and distribute it to everything in the second polynomial, which is going to give us 33x squared plus 11x. And then we need to distribute our negative 2. So negative 2 times 3x is negative 6x. And negative 2 times 1 gives me negative 2. When I combine my x terms, they combine to a positive 5x. So I end up with 33x squared plus 5x minus 2. Okay, and that is the end of our J12 section. Super short sections, right? Um, so you should now be able to um, complete that assignment. And if you have any questions, please let me know.